Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can make a layer mask or pretend to make a layer mask in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now I'm working in Photoshop, but all the tools that are available here are available in most versions of Adobe Photoshop Elements. Okay, so we've got two layers here down in our layers panel, and um, we're going to add another layer um, above our background layer. Now some of the names of these are different um, in Adobe Photoshop Elements but basically the, the technique will work. So we're going to look for this button down in your layers panel and you should see the same um, adjustment layer option in most versions of Adobe Photoshop Elements and we're going to add a levels adjustment layer. Okay, And basically when you add a levels adjustment layer it does have a layer mask on it. Okay, So what we're going to do um, with that is just leave it there for the moment and then we're going to jump up to our layer above. Okay, Now in this layer um, we're going to right click Okay, and we're going to look in Adobe Photoshop Elements for the group with layer below option. Okay, but here in Photoshop it's the create clipping mask. So we're looking for group with layer below um, and then or clipping mask in Photoshop and then create clipping mask. And that will apply any transparency that is on this layer below with the levels um, adjustment layer. Okay, we don't need to do anything with the levels adjustment layer um, itself. Now we click on, the, click on the mask for the levels adjustment layer and this is where we can add our black and white um, for, the, for the layer mask. So I'm going to click here okay, and then I'm going to grab my polygonal lasso tool or your lasso tool and I'm just going to click on the four corners of this building okay, and it's really important that when you do this that you're on that adjustment layer. Okay, Now I'm going to uh, inverse this and fill it with black. So I'm going to go to select inverse okay and then go to edit fill okay and fill with black. Now if you don't have the fill with black option in Adobe Photoshop Elements I'm not sure and um, if you do then you can just use the paint bucket tool to do exactly the same thing. Okay, So I'm going to uh, deselect that now and I can use a brush to work on this layer as well. So I'm going to grab my brush tool, I'm going to grab the white brush here and I'm going to just move this down and now in Photoshop if you right click you can change the hardness of the brush. I'm not sure if you can do that in Photoshop Elements but that means we can kind of blend in um, the other parts of this layer below that. Okay, So I'm just going to paint in a little white here so we're blending in the other parts of that image and then if I flip this to black I can blend out uh, parts of that too and I'm just increasing the size of my brush there so that it looks like this tower block is rising out of the stones here. Okay, So essentially this levels adjustment layer is what you need to pretend to, to make a layer mask within Adobe Photoshop Elements and then this arrow uh, pointing down which you create in Photoshop by adding a clipping mask um, or in Photoshop Elements by grouping it with a layer below will be the way that you can make a layer mask in Adobe Photoshop Elements.